So much of Pullman's rich history is now showcased here at this National Monument, a monument that's been in the making for roughly six years or more now. This will all set up for Monday's grand opening with a weekend of events already underway right now. The roots of this country's labor movement can be found right here in Chicago. That movement from workers in Pullman during the late 1800s paved the way. That work and history now preserved here at this national monument. When you walk through Pullman, you feel like you're transformed back into the 1880s. Labor history just exudes out of this place. In 1894, there was an economic downturn across Pullman, forcing the factory to reduce wages. That led to a 45-day strike at a place that was essential to the community. And so it'd be like the internet being shut down for 45 days. With that strike came the birth of Labor Day and labor rights. This monument now honors the history of those porters and the civil rights movement. It's a monument that's now expected to bring in 300,000 visitors each year, along with millions of dollars. It's been a long time in the works. It's been such a focus on it for the community for a long, long time. So it's great to see it come to fruition. This weekend marks the special grand opening of the monument with the official ribbon cutting set for Monday. In the meantime, tours and exhibits are being held throughout the weekend, running until 6 p.m. each day through Monday. Tickets already selling quickly on a first-come, first-served basis earlier this afternoon. You know, a lot of folks from Chicago and um, other areas that are coming in just for the event, um, and they're all excited to be here. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.